Alright, this is the ambient occlusion node in Blender. We're gonna be using it to turn this shiny fire hydrant into this rusty fire hydrant. We can illustrate ambient occlusion like this and basically we wanna tell Blender that it should make the dark areas rusty and the light areas red. Start out by adding a new material to your selected object. Go to the right and click new. Then go to the top right corner and click and drag towards the middle. This will split the screen into two parts. Then go to the shader editor. Once you've done that, press Shift plus A and add an ambient occlusion shader. You might also want to add a color ramp to adjust the ambient occlusion effect. As you can see, the effect gets noticeably stronger the further down towards the ground you look. Generally, we don't want this, so I recommend turning on the setting that says only local. This makes sure the object is only affected by its own geometry. This is useful when making grunge effects. Alright, so now that we have this, we want one shader to be the white part and another shader to be the black part. How do we do this? By using the mix shader. Let's continue. Press shift plus A and add the mix shader and then just duplicate the principled BSDF. Right here, I'm just connecting the notes together and mixing them using the ambient occlusion as the factor. I'm gonna give them some colors just so I can see which part is the fire hydrant and which part is the part that's gonna be the rust. Generally, it's pretty intuitive, so when you add your image texture, you just want to connect the yellow nodes together. It should be the ones that say color. Once you've connected the textures you want, you can already start seeing some pretty good results. I wasn't really happy with the shade of my fire hydrant, so I added a hue saturation value node and adjusted the values a bit. Now I'm just adding a normal map to make sure the rusty part of the fire hydrant is bubbling up and looking uneven and worn. After adding a background, this was the final result. Thanks for watching.